Quail. Good old super low pressure hurricane. And baby's on the way. You two are so chubby today. So they, I keep getting asked and I know everybody's concerned. Mom is still, I don't wanna say, it. She's, she's feeding them enough now that I don't have to come over here and supplement with bottles. But she is not where she needs to be or even close to where she should be. So, <laughs> you're so chunky. So, I actually am still doing drummy in the morning. Or gummy, goodness, too many ummies. Gummy gum drops in the morning along with Mochi Mom. We've already drained gummy, which is ridiculous. That's probably, ah, probably 16 ounces. Probably a pound a piece and their little bellies, and then they were not done. So I let Mochi in, and we'll just let them get as much as they want off of Mochi. Generally, by the time they're done with gummy, they just kind of toddle off, licking their lips, half asleep, milk drunk. <laughs> so, are we done? Are we milk drunk? Yes? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> you guys, maybe you guys can't tell. I, the, the amount of chubbiness going on right now on this little guy is kind of ridiculous. Boy, you chunky. There you can see it a little better. How about you? Yep, yeah, from side to side, you guys are you guys are looking good. Looking good in the chub area. Come on, handsome. No, see this is this is this is why we do things in specific orders. No, you get out. No, you definitely don't come in. I'm not fighting you. Go. Mr. President, now, no, oh, 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 look at me, I'm so abused, shy away, you're such a weenie. I am not sweeping the floor today. They have scattered a little bit of hay around. You guys, you have to move. I know you wanna get in there and see if there's any food, but you, if I can't open the gate, you can't get in, right? Sounds right to you? What, do, bo, bo, bo? You're such a dork. All right, come on, drummy mom and chunky mom to be. Not a mom yet, guys. Not a mama yet. Again, we'll do udder check and behavior check. Nah, she's got nothing going on there. It's, it's just, it's just hard to tell. And I don't see any, any signs of anything. We've been watching her like a hawk. Brought some hay down because as many of you are aware and hopefully everybody is safe. Hurricane Helene is pretty much dominating the entire East Coast right now. between everything between florida just open a map everything between florida and ohio on the map is getting wrecked so we are today expecting anywhere from 20 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds with 50 mile an hour gusts we're on the back edge of the hurricane we are on the east side of it it is pushing moisture into ohio which we desperately need what we don't need with that is heavy heavy winds so I brought hay down to make sure that everybody has hay. The boys are just dragging. I... Is that how it works? Why don't you pee closer to the fence? <laughs> Cause he only has eyes for you, Cookie. Strike that, reverse it. So that's today, just, just hurricane prep. I know that sounds weird, but that's that's what we're doing. Uh, 
I've told you guys many, many, many times, we always end up with the remnants of hurricanes. Hundreds and hundreds over the years have been tracked right up through Ohio. They tend to hit the coast and then they start coming up, up the, uh, up through the country on the eastern side of the country. And then they kind of track through Ohio. Sometimes they, like Helene, for instance, is hanging a hard left uh, just south of us and is going to start heading west just due to the rotation of the storm. So we're going to catch some of the rain and some of the winds, but not the, not the full impact, which is good because I don't, I don't, I'm not, not excited about that with babies. I want to make sure that all these moms that just kidded have plenty, plenty of food. All the boys have plenty of food. The big boys I don't worry about as much. They will actually come out in the rain and eat. The little guy's not very fond of coming out in the rain to eat, so make sure we had hay in their barn and then we'll get hay on the porch. I wanted to put it in here, but I, the error of my ways is that I do not want to move this bale. I don't want to move this cart. It, it's made of holes. How do you run into one wire? You little dork. He, he was trying to run out. I caught it in the corner of my eye. <laughs> he tried to run out and smashed into one wire. You're so silly. So I'm gonna keep prepping. I gotta get this sorted and I'm gonna throw everybody out on the porch, get some food out here, just food train your goats. I'm gonna throw some food over there, <laughs> get everybody out on the porch and then get this bale of hay moved in here. Just because when they destroy the bale as they're doing, you can see they're just, they're just, look how much hay she has on her. It's like their life goal to Top hay is better. Top hay is always more. Neither one of you two. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, okay, that's what I gotta do. And we'll do some baby zoomies. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening over here. Just a kerfuffle. Your ears are looking good. <laughs> Hi, can I see your ears? No, can you come over here? That was some sideways dancing. Just kidding. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> she is, I don't know what she's doing. She's like, come up here and play. Hello, friend. Man, look how beautiful this girl is. This is a sugar pie baby here. Looks just like her mama. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, get her done. Sprinkles. <laughs> It's girl fights today, I guess. Hi, Java Chino. Chavi, Chavi, Chavi. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. I know. I know. You're going to have to become an adult now. I know. There's other babies. Sorry. Moving on, Felicia. Moving on. Ouch. Bye. So, basically, just wellness check. Uh, we've had some pretty heavy winds today. All my trays blew off, or over or down. Uh, is that a fight face, or are you getting ready to have baby face? You, what's going on? It's still not tight. Hi. Who are you under there with? Tiny thing? That's where we are, guys. Storm is pretty much past. The babies are all safe. So just know that. Everybody looks good, fat, and happy. Hope you guys are all safe. More importantly, Nature's already over here. She was on the 2 o'clock. So I'm just coming in for backup and bringing some supplies. Well, that's a good way to start a video. Hello. Are you going to be a snow cone princess? Boy or girl? I have not looked at uh -oh. any of them. Uh, I can't tell. Can't tell it's a girl. <laughs> well, she's so, he or she is so tiny. Generally speaking, do you have blue eyes? I'm assuming this one's a boy just because it's a giant. Dude. 
Are you a blue-eyed, pure white girl? Well, just keep in mind, if she, even if she looks pure white now, she probably looks still that way. Oh, such a Debbie Downer. Well, I mean, it's true. Well, anyway, hello. You're so sweet. These are the muffin babies. The 2 a.m. babies? for the 2 a.m. muffin season. babies. Gotta have at least one litter born at 2 a.m., because why not? Mama was on patrol, and I and just texted me and said, Hey, it's time. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too late, actually, because... <laughs> oh, look at you, smiley face. You're blue-eyed, too. Pure blue gold. Eyes out of this, this fall brood. And she's muffs brown-eyed, right? I gorgeous. Muffs brown-eyed, but latte. Obviously, she carries blue-eyed jean. No, she doesn't. That's not how that works. Uh-oh. Here we go. Explain. Blue eyes are dominant. If they have a blue-eyed jean, they're blue-eyed. Any brown-eyed goat has two brown-eyed So they only need they one blue-eyed jean to pass. Correct. Mate is blue, and we know he ha also carries brown because he has also had brown. Well, hands. that's a little girl right there. She just showed me her tush. This one? Yep. The one who came out backwards? You came out backwards? Tried to give mama a heart attack. And you said you started to have a heart attack, and then and you and paused then, and, and centered yep, yourself? Yep. And just let professional mama do. <laughs> professional mama knows what she's doing. Yep, all three blue eyed. We've had Alexa. That's wow, Joe. I think out of the 12. Who's your daddy? Latte is their daddy. Latte? They're really pretty. We'll see when they're fully dry. Yeah. I like a lighter shade of gold, like a really pretty shade. <laughs> this is like the President Snow, Mr. Marlin variety pack. They are, yes. It's exactly what they look like. Hi. Well, remember, President Snow is a latte baby, too. Hi. It's a latte brosy baby? Mr. Snow is a latte brosy baby, yes. Yeah. Well, well, let's not, like, step on and sit on each other. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, here's the most important parts. Well, which, what's the birth order? Uh, exactly how you see them. One, two, three. Who came first? The big this one? one? The little one. Little the medium sized one, actually. And then the white. And then this gigantic one. And little Goldie was backwards? First one was backwards, yes. Little, backwards, little frontwards. Backwards. Yep. She has a tendency to throw odd positions. She's done backwards before. Yep. And backwards is fine as long as you've got both legs. It, I, it just, when the back end came out, I was like, hurry up and push again. You know what I mean? Because I didn't want Oh, was it end. just a butt? No, it was like, it, it was, no, it, no, it was, it was backwards Superman. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean, he, she was perfectly positioned. I think she's done. I think she might be done too, and I'm not mad about just it. Just three, mom? I am not mad about it at all. Nope. Well, they're absolutely gorgeous. Well, how about, we'll bring you guys back. In the morning when, when they're yeah. dry and fluffy and not 2 a.m. And not, <laughs> and most importantly, not 2 a.m. Yeah, what? Okay. I don't know who to start with. But Mama essentially had two baby Marlins and a President Snow. So I think I'll start with the big boy. Who is... Are you ready for your cameo? Yeah, okay. Huggies, because hugs make everything better. Okay. This is the big boy. He is blue-eyed and as gold as this day is as the day is long. And he's a big big whiner. There is not a lot to say. Big, big, big old buck. His colors are absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to let the light catch it so you can see it a little better. Little white pole on top of his head. Very, 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 almost like a round white in his gold. <laughs> you're just a big boy and you're a... I'm gonna put you down. You're too loud. Blue eyed, pulled, no horns. Gorgeous gold. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. For being just a gold goat, I mean, it's gorgeous.
Okay, so I'm gonna call that one M2 for Marlin number two, because he looks exactly like Marlin. Couldn't be any more like Marlin if you tried. We're gonna call you MG, Marlin girl. Cause you're like a baby Marlin, but in girl, girl form. And she has, she has some little flare of white on her side and around her chin, on her muzzle. She almost got that break up down the face. Are you blue eyed? She's brown eyed. And I always tell people if they're blue eyed, if they're blue eyed, you'll know. If they're brown eyed and you're guessing, they're probably brown eyed. But I thought all three of them were born blue eyed last night, so. You just ate. So brown eyed doe, horned probably, just because she has heavy swirls right there. You see that heavy swirl right here? Right there, heavy swirls right there where the horns are gonna be generally indicates horns, but I don't feel anything, but she's also a doe. Boop. <laughs> this is the loudest group of babies we've had. She is the absolutely the same, absolute, just gorgeous gold from tip to toe, with the exception of that little bit of white right there and that little bit of white on her head. Gorgeous, she might have white ears at the end of the day. That's girl number two, that's MG, Marlin butt girl. And now we have a Madam President. Hi, are you brown eyed too? Did you end up with blue eyes? Nope, you're brown eyed too. Oh no, oh no. Madam President, I don't know if that's, that's just the working name. I don't think that's what we're gonna call her, but uh, she's probably gonna be horned as well. Doe again. She is 100% pure white. No two ways about it. There's not a, a drip or jab of anything of any color on her. Pure, pure, pure white. Don't you side eye me. Don't you side eye me. <laughs> I'll give you kisses. Now she was, she last night was struggling a little. We gave her, I'll just show you what we gave them. Uh, usually when they're having a little bit of, when they come out and their joints are a little extra loose from being in there, uh, and, they're, and they're trying to stand and their knees are buckling backwards, hyperextending, and their hips, her hips were having a little bit of an issue. She couldn't really lock her hips in and get up, so gave her a shot of selenium, not a shot, a dose of selenium vitamin E and some jump start. And then probably 20 minutes later, she was up getting on mama eating. So that's it, that's, that's fall babies. And you did not disappoint. You had two Marlins and a President's now. Good job, mama. So this is uh, selenium and vitamin E gel. Great for just getting them up, getting them going, especially if they have loose joints. And then jump starts, just a little antimicrobial gel. Has all of that in it, right there. Vitamin E and selenium. Right there. Just natural vitamin E, natural selenium. So vitamin E and selenium. Low jump start. <laughs> so this is an old school, fourth kidding, six year old doe who makes no bones about anything. I'll get up and feed you. She's like, she's the stern mom. She's done this many times with many babies. And she's one of the ones that drives me crazy because she and Puddin will pop out those kids and they'll lay there for 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour. 
Uh, they won't get up until they're really ready to drop the afterbirth. They'll stand up for that. And a few of our moms just, they're not up on their feet feeding those babies as soon as they pop out. They will not feed the babies until they've cleaned. So they drop that afterbirth. Oh my gosh, you're just, you just. Could you be any cuter? You, I don't think it's picking it up, but the amount of, he looks like a cotton ball. The amount of softness to your fur look is just epic. <laughs> he went to his ear. Hi. <laughs> so that's the big boy there. This is the, the doe. And Madam President, you're easy to pick out of the crowd, love. So Madam President, MG and M2. And big old Mama Muffin. Goes right along. All M's. Muffin, Madam, M and M. You like a rap? You like a rap band? Is that what they call it? A rap band? A rap group? Gangsta rappers? <laughs> oh, you're just... Hi. <laughs> Hi. What about you? No? about you, Mom? <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. That's, that's fall kidding. That's... You know, for all of the flash and the pizzazz and... There's something so ridiculously beautiful about just pure gold goats. <laughs> it's the intensity of the gold, the, the fuzziness, the softness. How beautiful. I know, you were almost ready to, you, you were getting ready to death nap. The head's, the head's going down. It's going, it's going. <laughs> Come on, you are you are so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Good night, little guy.